All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, we are back with the Am I the A-Hole series, right? Our last episode was like four months ago, three months ago. I don't even remember. I kind of forgot this whole thing existed. But yeah, um, we're back because a couple of you requested and you asked where the series went. But yeah, um, subscribe for more epic videos. Smash like. Let's get this started. Oh yeah, also, if you don't know what this is about, um, pretty much it's a Reddit where people ask, am I the a-hole, right? And usually Usually they are because it's just bad people typing up a story and saying, hey, am I the bad person in, the, in this particular story of my life? And uh, it's kind of like these people are really not self-aware. Like it's blatantly obvious they're, they're the a-hole, but you know, they post it to Reddit anyways to um, get so some sort of consensus from the peoples, right? Okay, so this first one is pretty peculiar. Um, am I the a-hole for asking my girlfriend to stop smiling so widely for photos? Now, always these titles like... Like, I don't understand how, how, like, without even reading the story, right? How could this possibly end well? How could you not be the a-hole? Like, I assume, um, you, you think she's ugly or something, and you're like, okay, stop smiling uh, like that because it's kind of ugly. So, I, I don't, I don't know what, what your point was here. I, 43-year-old male, met a woman, 34-year-old female, online several months ago. These online relationships, man. We began talking and we really hit it off, I guess. She's a really pretty woman, but she does have a slight flaw to her physical appearance. Okay, I mean like every human being, what, what do you mean slight flaw? She has a bad case of TM, which makes it so that when she gives a big smile, one side of her mouth curls up into a huge grin, while the other side basically stays still. Every selfie we've taken together has her looking like this. While I absolutely accept that this is just a condition she has, I wish she would do what she can to make it less noticeable. Oh no, dude, what are you doing, man? This is like... Uh, hey, you're a really pretty woman, but you know your physical appearance. It appears, you know, pu you know, pushes up the monocle. It, it appears is not perfect. So can you do me a favor and you know just 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 stop being ugly? Like, come on, man. I clearly think of you as my object and not as a partner. And I think you should stop doing your natural smile and instead smile specifically the way I want because I think you look a tad bit ugly when you smile. That's that has got to be the most insensitive thing I've ever heard. Like, dude, this guy probably tells his dog to stop pooping. I mean, like, you're pretty much the perfect pet, like, anyone could ask for. I just wish you would stop doing the naturally biological process, you know, because it makes you less cute. I mean, I ordered a cute dog, and this dog is pooping. It, it's disgusting. We've recently started talking about becoming engaged. Oh, no, please don't. Both of our sets of parents are ecstatic, since they both apparently thought that grandkids weren't happening from either of us. But when the subject of engagement photos came up, I told her that she should not smile quite so broadly so as to let her true natural beauty shine through. Oh, this, this, this just gets worse and worse. She got really, really angry at this and said that the curled up lip on one side is her natural beauty since it's her. She said that she isn't even sure if marrying me is a good idea. Well, I think you've got your answer here because I don't know why you need to ask Reddit for this because because she is literally questioning your marriage now because you, you seem very entitled and you want her to smile in a specific way, right? But I think this should be a sign to lay off, right? Because you wrote yourself, she got really, really angry and she isn't even sure if marrying you is a good idea. Like, if you have to tell her to modify her smile, how is that her natural beauty? I mean, natural, uh, I don't know, by definition is probably like the regular process of things, like the way things are, right? Without modification. So the way she normally smiles, right, by default, that is probably her natural beauty, not the way you're telling her to. So um, it, it's kind of like you don't want people to see her like that because, you know, th this is the subject of engagement photos, right? I just feel like it's kind of scummy. You're kind of like gatekeeping her photos or whatever. You are deciding for her what looks good and what looks bad. And, you know, if she asks, sure. But it's clear that she isn't even self-conscious about this because she's not modifying her smile herself and she literally doesn't care. I'm pretty sure she can see her own photos. 
So if you are the one who cares, it, it bla- baffles me why you still need clarification from Reddit when you wrote yourself that she's really, really angry. It seems like you're really dense, actually. I'm the youngest of four kids in my family and the only boy. My father, 71 male, when he heard about this, he told me that it was no wonder that none of my relationships have worked out through all these years and that I need to apologize to her and beg for her forgiveness. My mother, 67 female, said that I should have been nicer but that she understands. I know all of this sounds really bad guys uh I, I pulled up to the bank with a gun but i know this looks bad but you know i really want her to be at her best that's not for my sake but for hers of course it's not for my sake guys it's for her sake i mean i was just doing all of this for her you just don't understand mr fam squad i did it for her this is my noble cause you see she was kind of looking ugly without my epic guidance so i did it for her you know i just told her how to fix it this dude talking like he sent 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 his kids to college or something i did it for them dude uh listen listen i'm I'm just gonna be honest i think your dad's right it's pretty obvious you aren't the ideal partner here and that's why your relationships have been falling apart your mom um it appears she was nice to you but i feel like she's trying to hold in slapping you in the face but Hey, is what it is, you know? But yeah, in conclusion, it's pretty obvious you are the a-hole here. Don't claim it's for her either. It's obviously not. You are the insecure one about someone else's smile. So yeah, I, I suggest you lay off. That's about it. Okay, uh, let's move on because that, w- that was pretty bad. Like imagine, you know, the person you love, right? You're about to marry turns around and says, your smile is kind of ugly. Can you stop smiling, please? It's ruining our photos. God damn, dude. That is just ruthless because, like, you know, smiling is kind of like involuntary and it happens naturally. So it's kind of like you're telling her, hey, you know, when you're happy and about to show your expression of happiness, take it down a notch for old hubby. You know, you kind of look ugly. Okay, this one says, am I the a-hole for not allowing my wife to send our son away for what he said to her? Okay, so pretty much what happens here is that the wife's parents passed away, right? The son is still 15 years old, but for some reason he's he's super 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 immature, right? He doesn't really understand that, you know, a loss affects people. I don't know why, because at 15, you should probably understand that, but he doesn't give a dang about his grandparents, right? He was never close to them, but despite not being close to them, he he, he should have empathy, right? But in this case, he has no empathy towards his mother. He acts like nothing happened, and he expects his mom to function as always, despite losing her parents, right? And she was really close to them as well, which makes it way worse. So yeah, it got pretty bad. Wife wants to send her son away because of this, because of his disrespect. And husband's like, I, I don't see a problem. You're not sending him away. So yeah, let's take a look. Um, two weeks ago, my wife's parents passed away in a car accident. Her father was 65 and her mother was 63. My wife has been completely devastated since. She was an only child and was extremely close to her parents. They were wonderful people and I also grieved their loss. The issue of this post stems from our son. Our son is 15 and has been pretty unempathetic to his mother. He's fairly introverted and started pulling away from his grandparents and us at 13 and now spends most of his time playing video games. He didn't react much to the news of their death. I have tried talking to him about it a few times, but he has told me that he didn't feel that close to them. Honestly, this part is fine. Like, if you didn't know someone, you can't randomly just feel sad about them, right? Because you didn't even know them. But the bad part comes later because he has no empathy for his mom. I still have to go to work while my wife is on leave. Our son is doing 100% online learning and is also home all day. Since the accident, my wife and son have had several bad interactions. Examples, wife was crying in the bedroom and son barges in and asks where dinner is. Wife asks him to make himself something. He rolls his eyes and walks away. The big incident came two days ago. I was at work when my wife called me sobbing. What happened is that she was in the living room playing some old videos with her parents when the son comes in. He asked to use the TV to play a video game and she says to give her an hour. She then asks him to join her. His reply was, mom, I honestly don't give a poop. They were old and gonna die anyways. Can you just get over it already? Okay, now we can see that it's getting pretty bad. I mean, this kid clearly doesn't know how to handle these situations at all. And I imagine this is just making it way harder for the mom because, you know, you lose your parents and your son is an absolute a-hole about it. Like, what do you even do at that point? That just sucks. I feel like even if you didn't know them like your grandparents, I I mean, surely anyone can understand losing their parents, right? So you got to put yourself in that scenario and try to understand.
understand how she feels. I think the right course of action was to obviously console his mom and, you know, maybe make dinner f yourself for once in your life. Like, if you didn't care about them, at least don't don't poke and prod her, right? Like, it, she has, she still cares about them. So why do you, why do you gotta tell her to get over it? This is like just annoying your mom when she's at her lowest, right? And saying they're old and gonna die anyways, like really? First off, they were like 65 and 63. They still had plenty of years left if you, if you take like the average lifespan. And second off, telling her to get over it, dude, god damn, this kid needs to be slapped. I think what I would do is toss him into the lava pit and ask God for another one, right? <laughs> okay, so back to the story. Mom, I don't give a poop. They were old and gonna die anyways. Can you just get over it already? She sent him to his room and called me. I talked to him about it, and when I got home and made him apologize, it clearly wasn't sincere. It upset my wife even more, and she asked to speak with me that night. She told me that she's having a hard time grieving with them constantly sharing the same space. Base, and him being rude and dismissive of her. She proposed that he spend two weeks with my sister since they have a similarly aged son he is good friends with. She wants the two weeks to go through everything from their house, deal with the legal stuff, and really process her grief. I do understand where she's coming from, but I shut her down. I told her that it's unfair to send him away and that if she needs some time apart from him, she needs to be the one who goes. She argued that she needed my support through this, and if she goes, she has no one. I told her I loved her, but our son comes first. This kid is lucky that he escaped the lava pit, okay? Because I don't go that easy, okay? Second off, um, she's not sending him to prison, okay? She's not sending him to an internment camp or something. She's sending him to live with your sister. And there's a friend of his age there that he's good friends with. It's like a two-week sleepover, dude. She's still thinking about him, despite him being an absolute loser, you know, just being a good mother. And you, you incompetent husband, you shut her down. Why? Like, dude, you aren't even in this equation. Get out. Go back. Go into the lava pit. Send this guy into the lava pit. Send them all into the lava pit, I say. This man actually said son comes first. Okay, okay, sure, sure. But that ain't no son. That's a brat, dude. She slept in the guest bedroom that night and hasn't spoken to me since. I feel horrible and I'm second guessing my decision. Was I the a-hole here? Hey, guys. Was I the a-hole here? Hey, hey, buddy. I just kicked a toddler. I punched my wife. Am I the a-hole, bruh? Listen, dude, first off, um, I think it's time you reverse your decision and spank this kid, okay? Second off, you should feel horrible. That's true because, you know, you're so bad at decision making, your mind probably shuts itself down just to get away from you, dude. I can't be asked. You are the a-hole. No questions asked. Get good, kid. You suck at life. Anyways, I think that does it for today's episode. Do subscribe if you're new or you get flung into the lava pit and you are the a-hole, okay? Let me know if you guys still enjoy the series. Um, I think it's pretty fun occasionally. And yeah, um, smash like, comment below your thoughts on each situation. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it, man. And yeah, um, uh, I, I think I'm done. Okay, bye-bye.